Alright guys, I'm back with my review of this week's WWE Friday Night Smackdown for January 4th, 2013. And this show starts off with Randy Orton coming out, and he says he wants to be world champion. This used to be his show, and he's going to enter the Royal Rumble. So Sheamus comes out and says he's also going to enter the Rumble, and he thanks Randy Orton for helping him with the shield on Raw, and Orton looks at him and says, I didn't come out to save you, I did it for myself. And he says he's going to eliminate Sheamus in the Royal Rumble, and Sheamus says he will bro kick his head off to eliminate him. So they're kind of teasing the Randy Orton Hill turn here, but more on that later. Uh, Big Show comes out, and he says even if one of them wins the Rumble, he's just going to knock him out. And then Cesaro comes out, and he did hit the neutralizer on the Great Khali on WWE's main event show which is really impressive to me. I'm probably going to watch this week's episode of Main Event just for the Kali cesaro match. I heard it was really good, um, which, you know, is surprising, but Cesaro is a really talented wrestler, and if he can get a great match out of the great Kali, then I want to see it. So He says, typical Americans talking about who's fighting who, and Sheamus says, you know I'm from Ireland, right? And he says, even worse, didn't skip a beat. Um, awesome stuff. Booker comes out, makes a tag match. Uh, Miz versus Heath Slater. The ref kicks out McIntyre and Jinder Mahal for getting involved. Slater works the arm, and Miz wins with the skull-crushing finale. This was a pretty good match here. In fact, I would say this was my favorite match of the entire show, um, which is saying a lot because it was Heath Slater versus The Miz, but these guys did a great job out here, and Heath Slater looked really strong. <laughs> It's crazy, but it was good. Barrett tells Stryker that he's going to defeat Kofi again, and this is Kofi's last chance at the title. Good promo. Kali, Hornswoggle, and Natalia versus Primo, Epico, and Rosa. Whatever happened to Hunico and Camacho? Those guys have been gone forever, it seems. Uh, but anyways, this match lasted way too long. Kali wins with the chop. Kofi tells Stryker that Barrett got the best of him, and this might be his last shot. We get Kofi versus Barrett for the Intercontinental title. Kofi hits Trouble in Paradise, but Barrett rolls out of the ring. And Kofi jumps from the second rope, but gets hit with the bull hammer. So Way Barrett wins the match. It was a decent match. I just, I really don't care about this feud at all. These matches just do nothing for me. Layla versus Tamina. Tamina wins with the splash. Nothing else really important happened here. Um, there was this one weird spot where Layla is in a headlock and she's in like this split. She's doing a split while she's in the headlock. Like, wouldn't that just make things worse for yourself? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, it looked kind of stupid. So we get the main event, which is Big Show and Cesaro versus Orton and Sheamus. Sheamus kicks out of the choke slam, ducks the KO punch, hits the bro kick, Orton gets the hot tag, Sheamus tags himself back in. He gets ready to bro-kick Cesaro. Orton runs in, hits the RKO on Cesaro. Sheamus looks at him. He's got no choice but to cover him. So he covers him. The baby faces get the win here. And then he has a stare down with Randy Orton. So that's how the show ended. Um, overall, SmackDown itself was okay this week. It started off really good uh, with Cesaro's promo, the Orton-Sheamus promos kind of teasing his heel turn, and Miz versus Heath Slater was great, and then after that, it just kind of, I don't know, it was an okay show overall, I mean, Barrett versus Kofi was okay, but I, did, I just don't really care about that, so for me personally, I didn't really like this show all that much, but um, even if you did like that match, it was still really just an okay episode of SmackDown, it was an improvement though, over what they've been giving us, but uh, still nothing really special. And as far as this Randy Orton Hill turn goes, I, I've heard the rumors that they want to do Sheamus versus Orton at WrestleMania. They've been wanting to turn Orton heel, possibly at SummerSlam, but he got suspended and all that crap. So they had to put it off. And now they might actually be doing it. They may turn Orton heel, have him feud with Sheamus going into WrestleMania. But I still have this concern that this might just be for the Royal Rumble and that they're trying to hype it up as every man for themselves, and that's why they're doing this. Orton isn't really going to turn full-blown heel. I hope they turn him 
just because I know most of us would like to see Randy Orton as a heel. Orton would like to be a heel. It would be a great storyline for Sheamus and Orton going into WrestleMania, and it would be refreshing. Something a little bit different for his character. Long overdue, if you ask me. And I just it seems win-win, so turn him heel. But I still have this feeling that this could just be for the Rumble. And after that, everything goes back to normal. Babyface Orton, babyface Sheamus. But we'll see what happens. I hope I'm wrong. So anyways, that was SmackDown this week. Um, nothing really special, but uh, if you want to see a pretty good Heath Slater match, check this one out, just for Miz versus Heath Slater. So anyways, that's my review on the show. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this week's show in the comments, and thanks for watching.